Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your February 2019 general reading, Insight to Your Secret Message. Welcome, thank you for joining me, thank you for watching. I'm going to do a brief intro before I get started, so I will put a timestamp in the comments so that you can skip this part if you wish to, if you are a returning viewer, and go directly to your reading. This is ma mainly for uh, new viewers, so if you are a new viewer, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like how I read, please subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, you'll see the little bell. Hit that. You'll receive notifications of when I post new readings. Uh, comment. I love to read the comments if this resonates in any way. Like the videos. It's the only way they will get circulated around YouTube is if they are liked. Uh, share. Share social media, share anywhere you would like to. That's very much appreciated. Um, you can check the description box below for the uh, ducks I'm using, information about me. I do offer personal readings. Uh, my email is there. If you want to email me, we can um, work something out. What kind of reading you want, prices, stuff like that. My Etsy page is there where I have a listing of a variety of readings that you can choose from. If you're interested in that but if not if you wish to just donate or tip to the channel which is uh, like an energy exchange it's very much appreciated um, as it does take a lot of time and energy for me to do these readings but I generally generally love to do them so that's why I do them for the for you guys so um, my PayPal link is in the description box if you wish to tip or donate if you have PayPal click on my link it'll take you directly to the tip page you write in the amount you wish to tip or donate then I think you can leave a little uh, note if you want to and then you hit send and that's as simple as that um, please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single person every single Aquarius as this is a journal collective reading it's not a personal reading so you may not resonate with it at all. You may only resonate with certain parts, and that's totally fine. I always say take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. Uh, we may pick up energies of past, present, or future. So you may get an energy of something that's happened to you in the past, something you're going through now, or something that may happen in the future. So you may watch it and say, I really don't resonate with this. And you could come back in a month, a year, five years, ten years, and say, wow, I really resonate with this now. So it all depends on the energies and what you are going through. So please keep that in mind. Um, if this does not resonate, if you know your uh, natal chart, your astrology chart, if you know your moon sign, your rising sign, your Jupiter sign, for love, your Venus sign, you may also watch readings on those signs and you may resonate with those more at this time or any time. So feel free to browse my playlist and watch other readings for other signs. I consider all, all my videos on my time on my playlist to be timeless so if they do have a specific date on them but you're feeling drawn to the title I say disregard the date and watch it because if you are being drawn to it then you probably are meant to see that message so please keep that in mind um, cross watchers are welcome so if you are watching because you are involved with an Aquarius you're more than welcome to watch this reading may actually be for you and not your person so energies can be also interchangeable so if you are an Aquarius watching keep in mind you can also go and watch readings on your person sign may give you extra clarity on any situation um, and I also like to give a shout out to an excellent reader that um, I've been watching for a very, very long time. She's an excellent reader. Her name is Aqua Moonlight. I will put her link in the description box. I received a reading from her a few months ago and she's excellent and she really confirmed to me my energy, my gifts, and it really helped me to decide whether or not I should move forward into this realm. So she's one of the people that really inspired me it gave me clarity that this is something I need to be doing. So I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to her. Um, I really love her style. I really love her reading. And I always look forward to her reading. So if you're interested in checking out another reader, if you're new to uh, YouTube tarot readers, I would suggest her 
She's uh, very, very good. Again her, again, her name is Aqua Moonlight, and her link will be in the description box. So thank you for that. Um, and I think... Oh, I also want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support, your likes, your shares, your comments. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you to my clients who have bought purchased personal readings. Uh, they've been very successful for them and very... Um, helpful and gave them great amount of clarity so thank you so much for that um and i think that's it so i will time stamp this at about 5 45 for those who want to go directly to the reading so aquarius let's see i have the barbary zodiac oracle here so we're going to see what kind of energy we get we could get a planet an element or a fellow sign please keep in mind if whatever comes out, it does not resonate or you're not dealing with that certain sign, then uh, disregard that. Then that's probably not meant for you. If you are, this may be a specific special message. That's a tongue twister. Say that 10 times for certain individuals. <laughs> so please keep that in mind. Okay. So spirit for Aquarius. It's too many. I have like one card. Who are they dealing with? Who are some of them dealing with? Are they dealing with a sign, an element, a certain energy, or a planet? Can we have one card for the sign of Aquarius for February 2019 for the general collective watching my channel for their general reading for February 2019? So we have one card for the sign of Aquarius. There we go. Virgo. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo. Some of you may not be, so please keep that in mind. Virgo in the tarot represents the hermit, which is about introspective, um, finding your light, taking kind of a break, and uh, finding your inner guidance, your inner wisdom, um, your faith, your spirituality, becoming enlightened, finding your path. You see this kind of glow behind this person. So let's see. So this is the energy oracle. So we're going to get your card, your secret message, your oracle insight message from this deck. For the month of February 2019, so please, what does Vir uh, Virgo, yeah, okay. Some of you are probably dealing with a Virgo, because I was just going to say Virgo. So this is definitely a message for some Aquarian people dealing with a Virgo. If you're not dealing with a Virgo, maybe you have Virgo in your chart. They could have Virgo. Maybe Virgo is their moon sign or their rising sign. Because it kind of... Because it kind of looks like a moon behind her. So maybe it's their moon sign if you know anything about their chart. Okay, so let's get one message for the general collective. Watching my channel for the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, please, what do they need to know? Okay, I think they're saying, do they want me to take this card? Usually I don't until I shuffle. But let's see what it is. Hostility. So I didn't ask... I usually don't take them like that, so we'll see if it's meant to come out. It will. If that's a certain message for certain people, then I guess keep that message. Okay, so can we please have one card for the sign of Aquarius spirit, please? For February 2019. It's two. I only want one. Can we have one card, please, for the general collective of Aquarius watching my channel? For February 2019 for the general reading. Can we give insight? I need one card to give insight to their secret message. What do they need to know? One card. And I have one card. One card. Okay, I'm feeling that one. Kind of wanted to stick in my hand. Didn't want to go back in the deck. So thinking woman. Okay, so some of you, number 47. And she's in green, so this almost kind of reminds me of maybe like an earth sign, which is Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. 
So some of you have something on your mind, thinking about something, maybe researching, looking things up, thinking about making a decision about something and you, you're researching, doing your homework, um, getting information. So I'm just gonna read a, a spec from here, 47. The thinking woman, female of wisdom or understanding. Uh, this woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. This also could be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or like the thinking man, this card could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. So if you find your voice and let so find your voice and let your wisdom shine. Wow, and I always say at the end of an, every reading, shine your light. So that's so and you see this butterfly here is about transformation. So let's see what the tarot has to say. This is the Jonathan D. Tarot. We get about eight tarot cards to clarify the situation for you, Virgo. Maybe uh, Virgo. Wow, yeah. Some of you definitely <laughs> dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you have a best friend, like that's like a sister to you. That's a Virgo. Um, maybe she's very wise and introspective and gives great advice. Maybe she's helped you make a lot of decisions in the past. She, maybe she's helped you transform in the past. Or maybe she's helping you now. My cards are being very sticky. Are you stubborn, Aquarius? Is this, does this person always try to get you to come out of your stubbornness? My cards... I got this before for another sign when my cards gave me a really hard time and they wouldn't shuffle. So, and I take that as a sign of stubbornness. See, look at that. Somebody's stubborn. Either you or the Virgo. Okay, so can we have eight cards for the sign of Aquarius for February 2019 for the General Collective watching my channel to clarify their message here of the thinking woman. Can we have eight cards, please, Spirit, for the general reading of Aquarius? The Journal Collective, watching my channel on 4th February 2019 to give insight to a secret message. What is this thinking a woman about? What are they going through? What do they need to know, Spirit, please? We have... Okay, oh, there's your Virgo. Wow, the Hermit. There's your Virgo. Confirmation. Being introspective, thinking, finding your light. Finding your path, find, trying to find your way, spending some time alone, reflecting, healing. Then you have the Four of Wands. This definitely could be something in your home environment. Uh, fire Energy, Leo Sagittarius. Oh, it's the Six of Wands, sorry. So the Six of Wands uh, talks about victory, success, glory, accomplishment, accolades it can be ceremonies it can be marriage okay i want this wanted this to be a general reading so i don't want it to be about love spirit please this is your general reading i do the love reading separate so let's see how this turns out for you aquarius i keep wanting to say virgo wow wow the hanged man. So we have Pisces or Cancer. So yeah, two two uh, cards. And I was talking about stubbornness. So maybe this Virgo is stubborn. Because now you have the hanged man where no one's taking action. Just kind of going with the flow with the hanged man. Just seeing where things are going to go. Just taking your time. Being laid back. But at the same time, being in solitude. Alone. Finding your spirituality. Finding your light. Finding your inner peace. Your inner guidance. Your inner strength so you can shine your light but right now there's no movement it's just it's just kind of stuck but there's victory in the middle so I feel there's victory or success in something to be had but right now there's um, a stuck stagnant 
maybe even stubborn energy, but yet being reflective and contemplating and healing and trying to find your way, your light, your inner knowing. So I don't know, let's see what this is about. So definitely the thinking woman here. And this definitely represents with the hangman and the hermit of just like thinking and not really taking any action. So this could be a Virgo person that's uh, someone in your home environment here because this is about does have a picture of a dwelling there. So even though that's the, the ceremony, the happy ceremony, accolades, celebration card, victory card, could be, just mean something in your home. So let's, let's see what's going on here. Are you Aquarius? What's going on? The King of Swords, and there you are, Aquarius, can be male or female. This is uh, air energy, so this is you standing your ground, um, telling your truth. Clarity sometimes can be a little cold or bitter. Not afraid to cut people, places, or things out that no longer serve you. Um, is very honest, dependable, loyal, but is not afraid to speak their mind. Say it like it is. Stand their ground. So you're like standing your ground and not moving. So maybe you're the one that's stubborn. I don't know. This is, and then you got the Virgo here who's just kind of hanging out. Hmm. Let's go see what's going on. Let's get four more cards for the sign of Aquarius. Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. This is the energy of walking away from something that is no longer serving you. Cutting away things that are no longer serving you, and that's definitely the sword energy. Hmm. All right, before I read more into that, let's get three more cards to see what's going on with the sign of Aquarius, the emperor. This is Aries. This is taking control. This is being a leader, a boss, a ruler. Oh, someone's taking control of a situation, maybe even walking away from a situation. Whether it's you or the Virgo, somebody's thinking long and hard about it about cutting away some cutting something out and walking away from something and just taking control but you have this uh, uh, this victory here though in the middle of this situation hmm wow this is turning out to be a little confusing but let's see what's going on let's get two more cards up oh, there we go to and you should ask you shall we see let's see the fool okay this is starting at zero starting at the ground level taking a leap of faith this is aquarian energy so that's you aquarius we got two of your energies here with the king of swords and the fool So this is taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, jumping right in, not looking where you're going. You don't really care. You're leaving the past behind, the baggage behind. You might not even be taking anything with you, just going out and leaping and going forward and not really looking behind. So somebody definitely is taking control of the situation, leaving a situation or cutting away a situation that no longer is serving them and taking a new start. And here is the energy of cutting it away. Somebody's being still and stagnant in the home environment. And maybe you, Aquarius, is sick of it and deciding to cut that issue away and walking away from it, taking control and just taking a new leap of faith. So either you've thought long and hard about it, this all could be your energy. But, I mean, we do have the Virgo energy here with the Hermit was the first card out. So I feel like these three cards are the Hermit energy of the Virgo. And then from here is your energy of 
cutting away something away that is no longer serving you and leaving it behind, taking the control and taking a new start, while this person, someone in your home environment, is just being still stagnant, stubborn, not doing anything, not taking any action. And it's like you're tired of it, so you're just leaving it behind, walking away. So you're walking away from the whole situation. Ace of Wands. Wow, okay, so you got two cards here of a brand new beginning. You have fire energy here now with um Leo Sagittarius. This is a brand new, this is brand new, Ace is brand new. It's divinely guided, a gift from the hand of God. It's something uh that's divine. So you're leaping into this brand new start and there's a brand new beginning and it's passionate, it's creative. Um, it could be an idea, it could be a project, it could be a new job, it can be anything. But it's something that's going to be exciting. Growth, expansion, it's going to light a fire under you. A newfound passion of some kind. So I don't know what it is. It could be about love. It could be about something else. Maybe you're... Maybe you're moving. I don't know. Maybe you're tired of the house you're living in. And maybe your partner... You know, you've been thinking about moving or something. And your partner's not making any effort to help you make the decisions. You're just deciding, well, you know what? We're moving. Here we go. And off you go. So, I, I don't know. It could be anything. It can be anything. Any, situ any situation. I'm trying to decide. I'm looking at these cards. If I need to clarify anything here. Um, I think the Eight of Cups. I don't know what this is. What, what walking away from? Is it love? Is it something else? Is it a job? Is it... Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, cups are about love and emotions. So, I mean, but I'm not getting a sense of... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting any messages as what it, as what it could be, but... And I don't know why I'm shuffling this way, because I don't usually do this, but the spirit wants me to really shuffle these cards. I usually just... I don't usually flip them in the middle like this, but... I did it without thinking, so my spirit probably really wants me to shuffle. Okay, so now we'll do this way. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. What is the Eight of Cups about? What is being left behind for Aquarius? What is... What is this Eight of Cups about? Wow, it's too many. Okay, so one is stuck here, so I feel that one... Now we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. <laughs> this is about wish fulfilled, happiness, um, joy. Oh, boy. Oh, that's the Ten of Cups. I'm sorry. Ten of Cups. Huh. That's total happiness and joy and family and love. It can be the total of it or it can be the end of it i mean tens are about completions i mean it could be about love i feel like we need one more one more is this a completion is it an end is it just coming full circle what is this i'm getting cup energy again on top there what is this nine and ten or eight and ten of cups about for aquarius and one more card to clarify this situation you do have Aries but this is your energy we have Virgo Cancer or Pisces your energy Aries your energy again here fire sign water sign fire sign hmm So you're leaving something behind, but then you have the ten. Oh, this is a little confusing. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, but let's see. Queen of Pentacles. So 
Now this is the Earth energy where Virgo Taurus Capricorn, and this is somebody who is stable, is rounded, who makes their pentacles, is creative, is smart, is stable and secure, dependable, honest. Hmm. So you have a king and a queen here, but they're different suits. But you definitely have the Virgo energy, and that's your energy. So maybe... I don't know. You're, either, you're definitely leaving a situation, or you're moving. Maybe you're moving into a new home. Um... There's a new beginning, so either you, you, someone's leaving a situation and having a new beginning that's more stable, grounded, secure for them, whether it's a new job, uh, could be a relationship, maybe it's a new creative project, maybe you want to start your own little business and that would uh, give you total happiness and joy, maybe you really don't like your job, maybe you're a boss at your job here with the emperor energy. And you're really discontent with that job. And that's maybe what you're walking away with, with the Eight of Cups. You'd rather do something that you're in control, in charge of, and make your own pentacles. And that would bring you the self-fulfillment, joy, and happiness. And that's taking that leap of faith in this creative, new, passionate endeavor. And maybe, you know, you just thought long and hard about it here with this Virgo energy. Or maybe... You're going into partnership with somebody who's a Virgo. Maybe it's your spouse. That's why we have the home card here. But it's something probably you both had to think long and hard about as we have the thinking woman. Whether or not to take this step. But I definitely see the Queen of Pentacles here. That... This success, abundance, and prosperity to be had. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles. So this is messages. This is communication about monetary material things. Offers coming in. Having to do... This just could be conversations between you and this person about this uh, proposition, about this opportunity, about this endeavor, creative endeavor. Seven pent of pentacles right underneath. So that's definitely the energy of hard work, labor. You know it's going to take work to get there. It's going to be a slow, steady progress. This is waiting for your um, fruits to bloom, patiently waiting like planting those seeds and then wait and wait for them to grow and flourish. So it's going to take time. So then, you know, you have the page of cups. So that's um, more messages coming through. So this definitely could be, you know, messages back and forth, though the cups is usually about love and emotions. It just could be talk between you two about, you know, this moving forward. And maybe one of you are really excited, passionate, about it and really love the idea and then you have the four of wands which again is about the home structure the stability so this definitely could be something you and your significant other partner of some kind are embarking on, on this new journey together if that makes sense So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. <laughs> it did show up. Wow. Hostilities, 26. So number eight. And eight is about taking action. See the tw six and two equal eight. And that's about taking action, communication, hostilities. Maybe where you work now, you kind of feel it's like a hostile environment. And that's why you want out. Maybe it's just... And I'm not really talking about like hostile, like people are fighting each other. Maybe it's just a very negative workspace and you're just tired and you're ready just to cut that situation out, walk away from it. You know, you want to be the ruler of your own empire, of your own happiness and success. 
And that's why you have the fool and then this new beginning. I was curious what's on the bottom of that. Uh, those are the messages I'm getting. So I hope that resonates with you, Aquarius. Um, definitely the energy of leaving something behind and having a new start. I'm getting the feeling it's probably career uh, orientated project endeavor of some kind but this success here so I think it will be successful it's just going to take a lot of hard work and patience and time to get there but you will get there once you plant those seeds and they grow it's, it'll take like I said hard work and time uh, you will have the success and you will be the ruler of your empire and you will have your pentacles with the queen of pentacles because if you look here look at this how similar that looks so definitely cutting away things that no longer serve you walking away from people places or things that no longer serve you transformation the butterflies as we said here with the butterflies here Definitely something thinking long and hard about, doing your research, your homework, knowing your investment, what you need to do, how you need to do it, journaling, taking notes, getting advice, seeking out advice, even legal advice, professional advice. Those could be the messages too coming through with uh, the messages here. I think that was wrong it was this way okay so Aquarius that was your February 2019 insight to your secret message general reading I hope you enjoyed it I hope it resonated for you if it did please comment let me know I do read respond to the comments and again if you like how I read please like share comment uh, subscribe hit the bell uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and good luck to you and whatever this is for you. And I'm sending you many light, love and blessings and don't forget to shine your light.